Hey Cancer, how you guys doing? This is your general love reading, okay? This is for the Easter holiday that we have coming up. So this reading can resonate from now through April 10th. Please take it how it resonates and leave the rest. This is for my Cancers out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you want a tower reading for yourself, I do have an Easter holiday special, seven day turnaround at a special price. And um, yeah, let's just jump right in. Um, I am going to take a card out from the Oracle and get your message. And again, please do like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these readings. You want more just like this one. Okay, messages for Cancers. What does Cancers need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for my Cancers out there, please. Surrendering to the journey. Release control. So, Cancer, um, there could be something here that you're trying to control. You wanted to, you, you may want someone in your life to take action on a matter. There is the energy of the three of wands waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for things to move forward, to take off. Maybe you're on some kind of journey with a relationship, a twin flame journey or something here. And it's really asking for you to surrender go with the flow of things stop putting pressure on a situation um allow things to just manifest and unfold the way that it should right and so some of you guys are literally like i'm getting taking a step back releasing control in some regard with this person stepping into power you are strong beyond measure so it it is requiring someone to take action okay knowing that they're strong come in with courage with willpower, with strength, because someone has to take action, step it up. Maybe this is your person, Cancer, having to step in their power and make that big, bold move towards you. Someone here could be weighing options because I saw the two pentacles coming out. So someone may be literally like back and forth, procrastinating, juggling, not really sure what they want. And you're kind of just like cancer. Like, like, what is going on? I'm waiting for you to take action. And Spirit is saying surrender. Okay, cancer. All right. In the recent past, this could be like two days ago, two weeks ago, two months ago. Someone has definitely made you happy, Cancer, but I feel like at the same time, they brought a lot of stress to your life. We have the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Wheel in the Verse. So it makes me feel like there's someone who really puts a smile on your face. You may have an idea of um, just being happy with this person all around. You may be around them and it just feels like you're just laughing, giggling, smiling nonstop. But at the same time, it feels like you're in your head, you're anxious, you're worried, you're stressed. Something may not be moving forward or in a direction that you've been wanting, right? The wheel feels like in reverse, things aren't happening for you. It's like you have this wish or desire or dream, hope that something's going to happen or work out a certain way and then it doesn't. So you've been in your head, a lot of stress, anxiety, and fear. The current energy is the queen of pentacles. We have the world in reverse and that's that release control. There could be the energy cancer of you really wanting something for the long term. Queen of Pentacles is determined. You know, there's an energy of working towards something long term, investing in the future, family, home, right? Wanting maybe that commitment, wanting to be married and settle down one day. And so that could be something you're focusing on. Your priority is to find that relationship that is of substance, that has a strong foundation, but with the world in the verse, I'll be honest, it feels like there's something or someone in your life where maybe things are just, again, not moving forward. The world in the verse can maybe, it took a turn for the worse, right? Maybe there's been a lot of lessons with this person you had to learn. You had to learn the hard way. And eight of wands in the verse, there's delays, right? There's setbacks. There's struggle. Something just isn't coming into fruition. You may feel like this person isn't communicating effectively or thoroughly. They're not communicating at all. In the world in the verse, again, it feels like there's definitely some kind of journey, a cycle. Now, external to you, this could be uh, someone you're dealing with, connecting to. We have the five of pentacles in the verse, the eight of cups, the four wands. It could be a twin flame and the hierophant. Someone is thinking about commitment differently, okay? Maybe you may be changing the way they view commitment, how they see commitment. Maybe, you know, there's something regarding difference in opinion or views, perspectives on commitment. And a four of wands, I feel like this person, Cancer, is definitely looking for some kind of security and stability in their life. Maybe there's something that, you know, maybe they weren't able to give to you, okay, because of their ideals regarding commitment. But it feels like they actually do want some kind of 
security and knowing that they have someone they can have a future with. Now, the Eight of Cups, someone has a really difficult time maybe connecting on the emotional level with you, Cancer. Maybe you're really challenging your person to open up their heart space in a way that they've never done before. And so there could be definitely your person taking the easy way out and walking away emotionally, cutting ties with you because they just don't know how to deal with their feelings, right? And so I almost feel like it's not personal. It just means that someone has a lot of growing and developing with regarding to heart matters. But the thing is, Cancer, this is someone that really wants your comfort. They want to know that, you know, they're close to you. They want to keep you within an arm's length. That Five of Pentacles is the energy of feeling left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, feeling neglected. You know, they miss your attention. They miss your comfort. They miss your energy. So I almost feel like if you put this person out in the cold, I think they're missing you. And they may be wanting to connect with you again. And it even be, could be completely. Uh, compromising <laughs> compromising on something regarding commitment or exclusivity the strength in the verse it could be a leo we got taurus here we got the hangman pisces and we got the emperor in the verse someone definitely is having a really difficult time stepping up to the plate doing the right thing taking ownership of the connection making the decision that you need them to i mean the emperor in the verse suggests that maybe this person just wants to do things on their own terms and when they're ready the strength could definitely be indicating of someone having, um, you know, some second guess or second thoughts regarding a situation. The hangman is here. Maybe they're not feeling so power, uh, powerful. They could be feeling a little bit insecure. And, you know, the hangman is like, let me think about it. Let me figure this out. So the emperor is here. It feels like someone is having to rise above and, again, step into that power. And it feels like it's your person, okay? But they need some... They need some time. They need to figure it out. The strength is in reverse. So this is someone that is really struggling in taking that action that you need them to take and are having to rise above. And they know that. So let's take a card for the challenge. Stepping into power, surrendering to the journey. Ten of Swords. Someone here, either you or your person, has gone through a really painful, difficult ending. And it makes you feel like maybe there's a past relationship, something that may have happened from their past um, and are having a difficult time letting go, recovering from this Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords can be a betrayal. It can be feeling blindsided, betrayed by someone. And there's the energy of like, let me pick up the pieces. Let me get my life together. Let me get myself back into shape, right? So, you know, maybe that's why someone isn't ready. In the past, we have Magician in Reverse, Six of Swords, and a Nine of Cups in Reverse. So the Nine of Cups came out in reverse twice. So there definitely is like a situation here where someone had, well, there's two, there's two Nine of Cups. Someone had a wish, a desire, a dream, and it feels like it was shut down. And there's an idea that something was supposed to happen, and then the Magician in reverse, it failed. It didn't work out. Someone may have felt like, you tricked me, you deceived me. You know, I didn't see this coming. The Magician in reverse could be a Gemini, but it definitely feels like there's some kind of like foolish uh, deception or activity going on. And, you know, you didn't see it coming. The wheel in reverse, it really set you back. But there's also something your person has been wanting to really set right or resolve, uh, make peace with. Maybe there's a feeling of a misunderstanding, like you don't know the whole picture. Give me the energy right now, the world and the eight of wands in reverse. A lot of delays. Maybe you guys are just like not talking, not communicating right now. Very possible. We have the Empress, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Temperance. So there's definitely energy of someone being overly anxious, worked up, wanting to know what are we doing, where are we going? Um, Seven of Pentacles, how are we investing our time? Are we still invested in this connection? Do you still see me as something of value to you, right? Do you still see me in your life? Um, I feel the Empress is here for a reason and the Queen of Pentacles. There could be two feminine energies for some of you guys. Maybe you're dealing with someone who is dealing with another person like a third party and that could be why there's blockages in this connection why things haven't been moving forward um and dragging or there's been a lot of delays and misfortunes and setbacks someone has to really figure it all out and i think the empress is here because there is an idea of expanding and nurturing a connection there's love here and i think someone just has to like i'm getting break out of a cycle or release something from the past the world in the verse can be very karmic in nature and the Eight of Cups shows itself again. So this could be someone having to walk away from a marriage, walk away from a home, a family situation. The Empress could be in the kidney of a child involved. It could be in the kidney of a wife or mother. So yeah, this person definitely may need to take action on a matter regarding, you know, um, another relationship before they can take action toward you. There's a lot of um, back and forth going on. 
I also feel like your person really wants to be seen by you, wants to be in your life, but there's an energy of feeling um, not good enough, not strong enough, okay? Not maybe where they need to be. And I do feel like your person wants to fight for you. The Seven of Wands is really fight for something that they want because they do see an opportunity where there's comfort, harmony, stability, peace, home, right? But again, Two of Pentacles in verse, there's something they're having to give up. And it does feel like your person has to make that ultimate sacrifice, release something or no longer give to something energetically or resources, time, effort. Um, I think the energy toward you, Cancer, actually looks really good because they heard about in the Four of Wands could be indicating of moving towards some kind of commitment or considering a commitment home family maybe moving back into home if you guys live with each other in the past and the four pentacles in a verse there's something they're having to first give up let go again there's a sacrifice there's a sacrifice that cancer your person has to make and they know it and maybe it feels like there's something linking to their past a past relationship karmic partner and they're having to release it drop it maybe there's some kind of codependency there okay I do feel that once this is done, your person can maybe open up the open up the door to explore a commitment with you, okay? But I don't think this is something you should rush because the emperor, the strength, and the hangman, there's a lot your person has to think about before they can really step it up. Um, have courage, willpower to move things forward. Three cups in a verse. There is a third party, perhaps for some of you guys. Knight of Wands in a verse and the Knight of Swords in a verse. I feel like for some of you guys, um, you may not be, you know, getting the information that you want from your person. There could be some miscommunication, no communication coming in. I mean, I hate to say it, but it feels like your person still is a little fickle. But the reason why is because they hang men. They're trying to figure something out. And again, the strength in the verse, they may not feel so powerful. They may feel powerless with regard to a situation. They're having to figure out how to take back control, how to move things forward with the emperor. But the hangman is like, I need to assess things. I need to figure out my situation. I need to know what I'm getting into before I can take action. Okay. Cancer. That is what I'm seeing for you guys. That is your Easter holiday reading. Um, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out soon. Have a beautiful holiday. All right. Take care.